Hello everyone, my name is Kate and welcome to this channel. Today we're going to visit the lovely Landshut. It's a town in Bavaria situated on the banks of River Isar. It is the capital of Lower Bavaria and one of the largest cities in Bavaria. Owning two characteristics of coats of arms, the town is also called Cities of Three Helmets because there are three helmets on the coat of arms. And it's also famous for a very popular event, also known as Landshuter Hochzeit or Landshut Wedding, a medieval festival, a medieval wedding that I'll tell you about later, that gets replayed every four years on the scale of the entire city. Due to its proximity and easy access to Munich and international airport, the city is one of the richest in Bavaria. Lanhut and Trausnitz Castle were founded in 1204 by Duke Louis I. Lanshut was already a Wittelsbach residence by 1231, and in 1255, when a duchy of Bavaria was split into two, Lanshut became a capital of Lower Bavaria. Duke Henry XVI was the first of the three famous rich dukes that ruled by an Lanshut in the 15th century. The wedding of Duke George and the Polish princess Jadwiga Jagelhorn in 1475 was celebrated by Landshut, the entire town, at the medieval town at the time, with one of the most splendid festivals in the medieval ages that today is known as Landshuter Hochzeit, from German Landshuter Wedding. It is replayed in its full glory ever since 1985 takes place every four years. The next one is scheduled to be in 2023. It is truly a spectacle of a lifetime. It is highly, highly sought after event. Many people travel across the globe to see it. The entire city, pretty much, those who really want to, and most of the citizens of Landshut find it an honor to participate in this event. So most of the city becomes a theatrical play that replays the events of 1475. So I've heard that men grow beards, <laughs> I don't know, a few years before the event and a large proportion of the population is actually actively participating in one way or the other. In order to see the event you have to book the tickets way in advance, they're quite expensive, there will be seats by the sides of the road and the procession will be taking place on some of the streets of the city. Interesting fact, if you don't have the time or the money for the ticket, there are always options in capitalist world, right? And the option would be to rent a window. And I kid you not, renting a window in one of the buildings from the owner whose windows facing or balcony or whatever you have facing the actual procession. And I don't know how much it would cost you, but probably cheaper than the ticket. So you could observe the wedding from the window. Decent business, I would say, for most of the owners of such apartments because it could cost you quite a bit to observe such a spectacle. So yeah, check it out. The city today is of national importance because of predominantly gorgeous Gothic architecture. Church of St. Martin featuring the world's tallest brick tower. And in terms of particular sites, what city is probably most famous for is Trausnitz Castle. That is a medieval castle that is situated in the city within a walking distance. It was a home to Wittelsbach dynasty and it served as their residency when they were ruling over Lower Bavaria from 1255 to 1503. Later is a seat of hereditary rulers of the whole of Bavaria. The castle itself was founded in 1204 by Duke Ludwig I. The castle itself situated atop of the hill above the Landshut, providing you an amazing view over the entire city. Before the 16th century, it had the same name as a town, it was called Landshut Castle. Landshut itself translates into protector of the land. Previously, the castle guarded over the city and the surrounding land being, in essence, its protector. Interesting fact that the size of the castle remained the same ever since the time when it was built in 1204 by Louis I of Bavaria. It was completed actually only in 1235 by the time of the visit of Emperor Frederick II. During the first half of 13th century, Trausnitz Castle represented not only the center of imperial politics, but also the center of culture. Given that, no wonder that Landshut was visited by some of the most famous artists 
of the medieval world, including singers and sculptors. The patronage of art of Duke Bavarius was so great that they were able to afford, and willing for that matter, to afford the sculpture from Strasbourg, who created sculptures in the castle. The wealthy dukes of Landshut uh, repeatedly renovated and expanded the buildings during the 15th century. During the 18th century, the castle was used as barracks and a prison for noble prisoners. At the beginning of 19th century, it was used as a hospital. King Ludwig II of Bavaria, the one that built Neuenschwanstein, check out my video about Fusen, there's a lot about that Ludwig II, he ordered decoration of new splendid private apartments on the second floor of the princess wing. Unfortunately, in 1961, the fire destroyed much of the interior decoration, including the king's rooms. As a city landsward, I think one of the best options to travel to if you decide to go to Bavaria. It's very rich in history, gorgeous architecture, there are great museums and a lot of other cultural entertainments, including theaters and opera. Landshut is a great place to experience traditional Bavarian cuisine. The city boasts many attractive restaurants, bars and coffee shops for your everyday local dishes, as well as international cuisine. There's even a restaurant in the Trausnitz castle. In case you would want to combine the history and the culinary delights, that could be the way to go. And of course, we mentioned already, this is St. Martin's Church that has the tallest tower that is built of bricks. So the tallest brick tower is here as well. All right, they're all. That's all that I wanted to share with you today. I hope you will have a chance to visit this lovely city and enjoy its gorgeous architecture, history, and culinary delights. Thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video if you did like it. And see you soon.